Hello, this is Bill Lee, and welcome to the Logic Accelerator series, where we cover pro features that every beginner should know. This series is going to help you discover some of the hidden power features of Logic, as well as show you a few of the basic surface level features that many Logic users overlook, but are essential for anyone making music in Logic Pro. Some of these are going to speed up your workflow so you can stay in a creative mode, while other things we cover are going to open your eyes to new ways to compose and edit and mix. To start out for today, we're going to take a look at some uh, cool features of FlexTime, which gives you functionality that you may have heard of called elastic audio or liquid audio, which basically means that we can easily change the length of audio without changing the pitch. But it also gives us uh, the ability to quantize audio and use it for some other cool special effects. For today's song, I'm going to use FlexTime to help me make a real moody down-tempo track. So I've got a song here that I've just dragged some loops in that I'm going to use, and I'm at 90 BPM. So to start out, we've got our first region up here, which is just uh, some simple uh, hi-hats. So when starting out with flex time, the first thing we want to do is turn on flex view, which you can find up here in the toolbar, and then select one of the flex modes. And these modes really dictate how Logic treats the audio when you're make, making flex edits. But we're going to go over the different ones. For right now, just want to select rhythmic. And uh, now that we're in rhythmic mode, what we're able to do, you can see this, it was a two bar hi-hat pattern, but it doesn't line up to two bars. So I can drag it to whatever I want it to be. I can uh, snap it right to two bars and take a listen. Let's maybe half time that just by stretching it down, grabbing it in the top right hand corner and listen again. What else can we do? We can also, once we turn on flex time, turn on uh, flex on, uh, on a region, we also have now have the ability to quantize audio. So you can say quantize that to 16 notes. You can even add a little bit of swing. So I'm not going to need that much swing in this track. I'll bring it back down. And uh, let me turn off flex temporarily so I can loop this out to four bars. Um, OK, let's listen to the next track where I've got another loop playing. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back into flex view and turn on one of the flex modes. And uh, I'll select rhythmic again for right now. And you can see this one kind of popped already to two bars. You'll encounter that every now and then with some of the loops. They are kind of know what the length is supposed to be already. So let's listen to that one. So it sounds good, um, but what I'd like to do is make this more of a halftime feel. So I'm actually going to go to the top right hand corner and drag this out to eight bars and listen again. Cool. I think I'm only going to use that much. I'll just make this four bars like that. Okay, so uh, what else can we do now that we're in rhythmic mode? We can also move some of these individual beats back and forth to create a different pattern. For instance, let's say uh, I want to move this beat a little bit earlier or later. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to put a flex marker just by clicking right in and put another marker right there. And then I'm going to put a marker on this kick, the one that I want to move. And I'm just going to drag it a little bit later. So now that it sounds like this. And I'll do the same thing uh, back over here. I'll put a marker there, one there, and I'll grab this guy and I'll bring this a little bit later so the pattern's a little bit different there. So cool, so now I've got a little bit of a different pattern. 
Um, so we did this in rhythmic mode, but what I want to do is I'm going to change this to slicing mode so you can see what one of the other different flex modes does. Right away, it's not going to sound that different. But if we go over to the track parameters box and you look down here, every different mode that we select is going to have its own set of additional advanced parameters that we can tweak. What I'm going to do is turn off fill gaps because since we've stretched this out and treated it like slices, it will actually put little bits of dead space in between all these hits like this. You can even take each one of those slices and make it even shorter so that it's a very, very short choppy sound. I'll bring it down here. Not too bad. I think I'm going to bring it back up closer to 100. I like the way that sounds a little bit better. Okay, so here's what we covered so far. We got a chance to see flex view, the transients, flex markers. We saw how you can change your beat around and stretch them with slicing and rhythmic modes. We saw how with polyphonic you can make a completely new piece of audio. In part two, we're going to take a look at two more modes, speed and tempo phone. And you'll see how you can use these in more of a creative way to kind of mangle your audio a little bit. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.